welcome back to another Battlefront update. Ever since the announcement back at EA Play where Grievous, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin, and Count Dooku were announced as the new heroes for Battlefront 2, all the excitement was really centered around the first three and not so much for Dooku. Sure, he was an important character in the Clone Wars and a major villain, but he just didn't have that same kind of flair as the other three did. Now, having said that, looking back at that now, I think we can say that isn't true. And with the exception of Grievous, Dooku will look and play the most unique out of all. This coming, of course, after Dooku's animations and emotes were datamined from the latest December update by Mophead and Tohru is Black, which really gives us a good look of how Dooku will look and play in the game come January. Out of all the lightsaber heroes, at least, it looks like Dooku will definitely feel the most unique. By that, I also mean the most classiest. As we can see, DICE crafted Dooku's duel style right from the Clone Wars, where he duels with one arm forward and the other behind him, somewhat like you do when fencing or classical European sword dueling. It's these animations that really truly make you feel that this is Count Dooku that you're playing as and not some generic Jedi or Sith lightsaber character. Granted, he doesn't really duel much like this in the movies, so I appreciate the details of DICE basing this off from the Clone Wars, where we saw a lot of Dooku dueling. Next are Dooku's four emotes, which are very well picked. These include Brave But Foolish, I'm Looking Forward to This, I've Become More Powerful Than Any Jedi, and The Sith Control Everything. Now honestly, me just saying these don't really give these emotes much justice. But fortunately, Mitchell Levin from Reddit took the Dooku emote animations and dubbed in the voice lines from the movie and show to really give us a good taste of how these emotes will look and sound like come January. Check it out. Brave but foolish. Twice the pride, double the fall. I've become more powerful than any Jedi. Sith control everything. Now of course these will be voiced by Corey Burton rather than the legendary Christopher Lee. But seeing as Burton did do a great job voicing Dooku in the Clone Wars, I'm not really worried that he won't do a stellar job portraying Darth Tyrannus here as well. As for his abilities, from what we know so far, these are called Electrocute, which is sometimes called Lightning Stun, Expose Weakness, and Duelist. Unfortunately, we don't know any more than that and what they'll actually do. Other than simply guessing that Electrocute will be similar to Palpatine's Force Lightning ability, but with one arm instead of two. Regardless, it is funny how DICE always managed to somehow include these important files of upcoming heroes and random patches before they're even out. Sure, these Dooku files in the December update may not be that random, but those Anakin animation files we saw a while back definitely were, especially seeing as he's coming a month after Dooku. Finally, I also wanted to address another topic regarding the clone commandos coming to the game. Yes, they are openly being teased by DICE at the moment, but a few of you have sent me messages showing about the Clone Commandos being referenced in the game files already, and I'm gonna address that here and now. As instead of sending the same message to everyone who did send me those, I'd rather just let everyone know now in this video. That yes, there are several files in the game that do reference Clone Commandos, yeah, there's no question about that. However, these are not new per se, and have been there since the game's release, which is already a red flag. Second of all, if you did look through the files, you'll see that they actually have nothing to do with the clone commandos at all. But rather, they're just the files for the clone jetpack troopers. Yeah, the clone jetpack troopers, not commandos, clone jetpack troopers. And no, I've got no idea why DICE decided to call the jetpack troopers clone commandos in the game files. No one really does. And that was something we've talked about a fair bit last year. But of course that was a while back, so most people may have forgotten by now, and if all the new players who did buy the game recently, this could easily be the first time they're learning about this now. And while I do appreciate all of you sending me these messages on Twitter and Facebook to do a video on, I just wanted to clear this up that this is really old news and not a topic that should really deserve its own video. 
With that said, don't worry. When we do start seeing news or leaked files of the real clone commandos in the update files next year, I'll definitely be covering that, as I usually do with this material. But that'll do it for this Battlefront update. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel to not only support it, but keep up with Star Wars news, gaming, and canon lore released every week. And consider following me on Twitter and Facebook to never miss out on the latest Star Wars-related content. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.